Hello, my name is Shallow. This game is Hrot. We're back in the mausoleum. Uh, real quick. <laughs> I've been making a horrible mistake. I keep making this joke that Hrot is Russian for something. I was under the mistaken belief that Russian is the language spoken and written by, uh, frankly, a lot of Eastern European countries. That's not true. Hrot is Czech, not Russian at all. Um, which in the context of all the Czech history I've been reading about recently is <laughs> kind of a kind of not a cool mistake to have been making so my apologies for that What's going on here hear the truth speak the truth defend the truth yeah and I've got a crossbow nice all right two options Looks like I'm out of the mausoleum pretty quick. Boom! Did that catch fire? <laughs> Alright. Okay, we're going back the other way. Which uh, key is the crossbow on? It's all the way up at seven, huh? Oh, it's too dark. I can't see where I'm going. There we go. Hmm. Every time I see a statue now, I'm worried it's going to come to life and kick my ass. Especially with all this ammo scattered around. Ooh, horse! Ooh! Oh, the crossbow's pretty good. I get more ammo for it though. Cause I'm out. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting all this to be open down here. Oops. Oh, I forgot about those. Don't I have... Yeah, this thing. Um, yeah, that's how you get ammo for it. Okay. <laughs> nice. Was there a... No crank on that side. Just the key. Kind of, uh, I don't like that it auto-switches your weapon when you pick one up. Uh, I don't mind it doing that the first time. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but when you've already got the gun and you're just picking it up for more ammo, I don't like that it still auto-switches you. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to this helicopter. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, you know what? Of all things to take me down... <laughs> I'm kind of okay with the helicopter. I don't know, what do you expect me to do against a... 
two helicopters teleporting in out of nowhere. time I'm prepared. Oh, what's this? Glory to the heroes who fell for their homeland. Alright. I suppose technically this is post-Soviet invasion of Czechoslovakia. It's one of the few things about the plot of this game that is known is that it takes place in the 80s. Surprisingly spongy. Uh, I'll leave those things for now. Is this what does the helicopters? Yeah. The, uh, with the foresight that those are going to teleport in, that's a lot easier to deal with. Why am I still getting, like, combat music? What's still alive? I saw that little vent down there and thought I'd click on the wall. Cool. Well, I have plenty of health now. I think that's the only time I've ever picked up that wine bottle and not needed to use it immediately. Alright, still locked. Clearly I have to get in there somehow, right? I already did that. I don't have the rusted key. Maybe something down here opened? No. Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is a tiny map so far. I, I don't have that much to explore and I'm lost already. Oh. What? 
Ah, there's my rusted key. Man, that was just right here this whole time, huh? Disappointed in myself. Okay. Well. We're in. And I guess, now that I stop and think about it, this is the mausoleum, isn't it? Not where I came from. But this ornate building dedicated to the uh, Czech heroes. Uh, that's nice. I'll save that. Sure enough. Those are definitely going to open up at some point. Oh, I figured out what the coins and medals do, by the way. <laughs> That's uh, it's helpful when you're watching back your footage editing. It's, it's armor. It's just armor. Whoa! Alright. Not sure if that will pick up on the recording at all, but for some reason killing that guy really lagged my game. <laughs> that was an especially important floating Lenin head. <laughs> He's carrying around all the code. Shoot that button? No. Oh. There's an open one. What's everybody doing hanging out in the mausoleum anyway? turrets in the vents. What the hell? Oh, I just panicked and checked to make sure I was recording. I am. <laughs> I recorded a whole... Well, I played through a whole a whole map of, of uh, ramp the other day before looking up and realizing I had never pressed record. <laughs> so that was too bad. Now I'm paranoid I'm going to do it again. What's this? Temperature, 15 Celsius, humidity, 80%. I'm not an expert on mausoleums, but that seems awfully humid for a bunch of dead bodies. Right? Oh. Hello. You look very well preserved. Give me the key. Okay. 
Those bouncing grenades. So unpredictable. Oh, okay, this loops around to the key. Gotcha. Uh, there's no crouch, is there? No. Nope. Oh, no, don't come in here. There's not enough room for you. what's behind the door before I grab that meal over there. Okay. Uh, Clement Gutwald. Gross. What do I, uh, Me, Clement. Ah, thanks, bud. <laughs> Trust fall. <laughs> Refrigerator. Exhibition. Okay. Ooh. Is this where we like prepare him to be <laughs> displayed? like uh <laughs> if you ever look up what happened to Lenin's body it's nuts there's like a whole department of Russia's government that receives a ridiculous amount of funding every year just to preserve Lenin <laughs> don't go into the tower all right <laughs> you have to imagine how Lenin would have felt knowing his dead body was going to be preserved for as a as like a essentially a tourist attraction <laughs> using uh, public funds that oh boy <laughs> he would have he would have had a stroke can't blow those up they have cracks on them that's like the same crack texture as the walls you can blow up that's a shame. Tower. Hmm. So I can't get up there. I think I have to go up to the tower. I have no choice. What's up here? Hmm? Uh-oh. I'm gonna run back and grab that health that I left behind. <laughs> We wanted the best, but it turned out like always. Well, you know, good intentions and all that. Hey, bud. Where's the, uh, there it is. 
Okay. Trust fall. <laughs> Thanks, Clement. It's the friendliest person I've met so far, and he's a corpse. Alright. Uh, I don't have that many shells left. I don't want to blow myself up. Maybe... Oh, I didn't use the crossbow at all. Where's that, like, electric zappy gun? Oh, right, I forgot I still have wine. Oh, maybe I don't have any ammo for it, so I can't switch to it. Oh well. What the fuck? Is there gonna be another spider in here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no. What the fuck? Clement. We were we were buds. I can't believe you would turn into a spider and shoot saw blades at me. That's like that's like rule number one of being best friends. Oh. Oh, it's like Super Mario when you get to the castle. You gotta swim in the poop just one more time for, uh, for old time's sake, you know? Yeah. Alright, well, this was weird. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Huh. Oh yeah, look at that. Now the uh, the casket's empty. Creepy. Great, I'm gonna need to look up who that is now. <laughs> what a what a weird game this is. Beef Stroganoff. What you need. Is this a recipe? Put the meat into strips, season with salt and pepper, lightly fry the... What? <laughs> you know, Hrote is actually a uh, check for beef stroganoff. So this, this makes sense. <laughs> oh man. I love this game. It just keeps getting weirder. I love it. It's good shit. Oh yeah, and just like uh, classic games, it kicks you back to the menu when you uh, beat the episode. Cool. Well, uh, I think I'm going to change up the format of this a little bit. I think the next two episodes will be one big, long video each, so that this doesn't just drag on forever. Uh, which means they might take a little longer than usual to come out. I might skip a Monday or two, uh, and then hit you with the rest of Hrot. Uh, but until then, thanks for joining me with this uh, very strange game. I encourage you to go check it out yourself. I hope to see you again here next time. Until then, take it easy. Dank stuff, huh? Oh. oh, oh, you can play the handheld games you've collected. 
shit.